Sparky at the bridge, first play. It's gonna work, just watch. Watch this, guys. I already played four elixir. Oh! Hey, welcome back. It feels good to be back. Let's see, what is new, guys? They added Clan Wars 2.0 to Clash Royale, but it kind of kind of flopped, if I'm being honest. It had, I don't know, the community reaction. It's okay. I think it brought a couple people back to the game, but overall, they're going to need to change it a little bit. And the good news is that they actually do have plans to change Clan Wars 2.0, so it's not going to be the way it is forever. Let's see here. <laughs> it's looking like... First of all, I saw a dude on the leaderboard using this deck and I was like... I gotta try it. I gotta try it. Okay, not really. I've kind of... I've low-key just been messing around with Sparky for like the last couple days. I've been trying out this thing where I go Sparky first play at the bridge. And it actually works surprisingly well, so... Uh, it's not a good play, but I just enjoy doing it because it's funny. So let's see here. We're gonna go Goblin Giant versus that. We're just gonna let it die. This is actually a winnable matchup. It actually is, even though it's like also impossible. It's winnable at the same time. It is winnable. I'm sorry guys, I forgot to wear my bandana once again. But hopefully I'll remember to wear it for the next video. So let's see here. Let's see, we're just gonna go in the back of the Musketeer. So let's get some actual actual strategy tips for how to play this deck. Tip number one is going to be, you don't really want to play your Sparky, like, first play. More often than not, wait, this is kind of unfair. My man has Dark Goblin, and he has the Rocket Variation. Oh my gosh, it's a hard counter. Anyway, um, more often than not, you are playing your Musketeer to counter cards versus playing your Sparky. You, you almost want to save your Sparky for double elixir in a lot of situations. So let's just go here and try to force out a rocket. Yeah, he'll just rocket it, so we're just gonna let that happen. And let's see. Don't think he has Oh well. Um don't think it's really going to be worth it to zap anything there. Musketeer play. They'll probably just rocket that. If not... Let's see, it switches lanes. I was trying to juke him with a lane switch, then it gets a value... Did he miss? Hold up. No, but it doesn't matter. I don't think it's worth it to zap that. Yeah, I don't even need the zap thing. Whoa, hold up. Hold up. Did we win just we won just like that? That's what I'm talking about. You can still win with this deck. The trick is you just gotta How do I explain it? Basically the way you think about it is they can never kill your musketeer because um if they rocket your musketeer, then you just play a sparky. So <laughs> you kinda gotta keep that in mind. And that you saw there, it's just like freely cycling cycling my musketeer, because I wasn't really Afraid of him using his spell in. Okay, so... This is gonna be one hit, unfortunately. Let's see, let's just heal that up to full health. Because, I might as well... Dang. What does my man have here? So, if he does have Executioner... No, but he probably doesn't have Rocket. Actually, this is kinda weird. What does he have? I don't know, I think I just go in, because my cycle's kind of weird. So here's another tip you're going to see with this deck, which I'll, I'll tell you the now. I probably won't really apply in this matchup all that much. What is he? Oh, Earthquake, okay. Um, A lot of times, when you go in on the offense, you're just going to be using your... Like, how do I explain it? You're not really going to support your um, Sparky and Goblin Giant with support troops. A lot of times in single elixir, you just want to go like... 
Ooh, this is kind of nice. Okay, yeah, back to what I was saying. A lot of times you're just going to want to support your Sparking Goblin Giant with a Rage and Single Elixir because you won't have enough Elixir to also play support troops. And you just kind of kind of do that. And then a Double Elixir is going to be when you go in for more of the big bushes with like multiple troops and the Rage combination. It kind of depends on the matchup, but I would honestly be in favor, especially versus like a Bomb Tower deck like this, just going in with the Sparky in the back, saving your mini P.E.K.K.A for defense and using the offensive rage. You don't be afraid to cycle your rage. I think that's the main point I'm trying to make here. Because there's there, I was playing this deck before and I was losing some matchups with, which I felt like I should be winning and I realized that it really came down to how you how I played the rage. So, okay. Wait, Valkyrie's kind of weird actually. What is this? Huh. Let's see, we're just gonna let that get two hits or one hit maybe. Ah, honestly? Whoa, I was like. I'm like gearing up for another push here and we're gonna kill this tower just like that. No, we're not gonna kill it yet, but this next push should be able to finish off. So let's just go in with a rage here and like, he's not gonna be able to stop this, let's be real. I didn't really even use my heal spirit that much in this matchup because I was always afraid of his, um, here we're gonna win just like that. I was always afraid of his barbed barrel, so you kind of saw like me being very reluctant to play my heal spirit. Um, I maybe could have got it in there a couple times more, but you saw it kind of worked out. It was kind of like a little bit safer just to not play it when I wasn't really hardcore tracking his barb barrel in the cycle. Okay, here we go. Wow, Nightwish in the back. So, I hope this is actually a gold matchup because I just faced gold matchup and Loki, first of all, he gave up, but second of all, I also legged up, but then since I gave up, he gave up, I still won. I don't know why he gave up. Okay, anyway. Um, we'll see if this actually works out for him. I don't think it should. Yeah, that was quite good for me. And <laughs> we get down a Goblin Giant in front. Oh my goodness. See, this is why that was a good play on my end. Okay, so we'll Goblin Giant here. We'll just rage everything up. And does he have Elixir for Lightning? He does actually have Elixir for Lightning. Let's see if we can get in this Heal Spirit. Okay, nice. And the nice thing is about that Heal Spirit too, if he Barb Barrels right away, then he kills the Heal Spirit, but he doesn't kill his Spirit Goblins. And so that is one, okay. Well, it's just Lumberjacking at the bridge. I feel like that's good. Well, me, does this get a hit on Sour? I don't think so. But yeah, either way, that was a nice Heal Spirit. That was like a positive electric trait for me. Zap to get the hit on the tower. And then we can pretty much guarantee a Goblin Giant hit if we just like go Goblin Giant Rage at the bridge. So we're in a pretty good situation, I would say. Um, we'll just go same lane here and we'll probably want to use a defensive Rage. That's going to be kind of important. Otherwise, we might be struggling a little bit here. Let's see, he shouldn't be back to the Lightning yet. No, he, how is he back to lightning? What the heck? Okay, well I miscounted his cards, that's unfortunate. I gave him a value lightning when I didn't need to. Here we go. I'm thinking we're gonna lose that. Does that get a hit? No way. Okay, that's actually so good for me. that and then we'll go over here and yeah we're gonna kill this tower just like that okay <laughs> end up working out really well and here's one thing you didn't really see it in this particular game but I think it's super important in this matchup you never want to cycle your 
sparky too early, you always want to cycle your musketeer first, and then you want to cycle your sparky like second. Um, that way your your sparky, if it crosses the map too early versus a golem and it dies to the baby dragon and mega minion, that's going to end up being really bad for you. So when in doubt, if they haven't already played their golem or already played their night witch, don't cycle your sparky. My man did this let, ooh, that's a nice name. With the log hearts, nice. Good game. No, not a good, oh shoot. It is a good game. If he has expo, that's like probably the hardest counter of this deck. It's not, oh my gosh. Yeah, this is gonna be rough. Let's see. I think we can get away with, uh, well, he's just going full defense. Nice. Um, I'm guessing I want to do this. No, he just, okay, well, hopefully he has the expo at least. I don't know how we're supposed to win this. I don't know if we are supposed to win this. I mean, the only way we win this is if he messes up. Oh my goodness, I'm muted him because... Yeah, I'm, um, this is not a, gonna be fun. Well, and he might just go, like, Expo opposite lane, <laughs> which would be kind of rough. No. Okay, well... Good news is... Expo would be distracted for a second or two if he were to go. I'll probably just play defense. Yeah, he does. And then... I can't really do all that much here, to be honest. I think I go in with a Rage. Jump! Oh, let's go. No, but it's not enough. It's not enough. That's unfortunate. Look how slow our cycle is going to be here. Go in front, please. No, it's not even in front. That's rough. Wow, we didn't even kill it. See what he's gonna do here. So he's not going to. He, he definitely could have gone away with an offensive expo already and put me in a world of hurt, but he's not doing that so far. So let's go Golem Giant here. Play it closer to the center. That way, if he does happen to expo, it'll actually kill it. Get the... Let's see, I think... Does he have log and cycle? Oh my gosh. Well, he might actually be able to win this. Looks like he kind of messed up his defense. We put the... We kind of punished him hard. Notice how I'm like not giving him a lot of um, value with the fireballs. Oh, I tried to play the heal spirit, didn't play for some reason. Let's zap to... Wow. We beat the hard counter, let's go. GG. His mistake there was that he never, like, properly played an offensive expo when I had a bad cycle. Like, all he, had, he would have to do is play, like, an expo the exact time I play a Sparky or something like that. Um, and I just lose the game because I can't defend it. So... That was, I would say, his major mistake. And also, we didn't really ever fireball my Sparkies. He definitely could have done that. So... Oh, what do I want to do here? Maybe nothing. No, I can I can Musketeer. Do I want a Musketeer? I don't know. Felt like I had such a good cycle for defending there, or... I just didn't really want to waste a card. Okay, let's do... Actually, Goblin Giant on defense. I feel like I don't waste both of my air counters just to be safe. Wow. Oh, 
Okay, well... I was not expecting him to have a Lecture Wizard after he showed his first couple cards. This... Is, is he gonna have... Maybe he has a Ram Rider instead of Battle Ram. We'll see. We will see. I don't want to say this is a... Yeah, I think he does have Ram Rider because he has... He could also still Minor? I don't know. We can't say for sure yet. We cannot say for sure. Well, okay, now we can say for sure. He has Ram Rider. Um, we're gonna wait for his next play, I would say. There we go. And is he just gonna lightning this? Probably. If I could get down... Yeah, he's not gonna have a lot of elixir defense this year. Oh, what just happened there? Okay, so that's a lot of damage on his tower. We managed to punish him, knowing they wouldn't have enough elixir for to defend properly. And we'll just go Sparky. Is he gonna lightning this? Okay, yeah, so he couldn't hit everything with the lightning. That's gonna be good. And then we have to. Is he gonna Pekka? Okay, he does Pekka. Hopefully, Sparky gets off a shot. I think it does. Oh no, that's actually not ideal. I was trying to kill it before it got off the stun. But if we zap... Oh, so close. Dang it, that's gonna be a hit. Let's see. What's he gonna do here? Oh no, it doesn't work. Dang it, it was so close. I think I lost. I think I the mistake was that I didn't try to lane switch early enough. Yeah, we're, we probably aren't going to win this. We go in for one final last dish effort. He did just use his guard barrel. No. It was a close game, all things considered. I think I should have I should have tried to switch lanes at some point. Maybe like don't even play Sparky into the same lane as him. I don't know though. I mean that's not that, that's a pretty bad matchup. I would say that even like normal burst fan is actually probably better because the lightning is just kind of rough. So overall, that actually wasn't that terribly played by me. So let's just musketeer here. Okay. What does this mean? I guess I just do this. I don't really have much of a choice, honestly. You don't really want to use Goblin Giant as, as a big body as much as you would like with a giant or something. So it's not really an ideal play, but I don't know what else I was supposed to do in that situation. So I think we can actually get away with Let's try to heal up our minions in case he's going to poison or something. No, he doesn't. So that worked out well. This is probably a good matchup, but I have to be really careful in how I play it. Oh, man. Yeah, we're just going to let that go. Skeleton dragons are not easy to stop with this deck.
They are level 12, but I don't think it really matters all that much. Okay, so we kept it alive somehow. Nice. Wow. That many P.E.K.K.A. kind of destroyed him. I knew he wouldn't have a good answer for it. He didn't have Graveyard in a cycle, like... And honestly, he probably wouldn't have played Graveyard. Actually, Graveyard probably would have been the play if he had it. I don't know if he did have it. We kind of saw how well that worked out, so he didn't really have too many good answers in Mini P.E.K.K.A. Notice how I didn't just, like, completely panic and block the bridge? Because I knew, even if he went in with that, he's not going to have Elixir to Poison right away, so... It doesn't matter. Okay, and... I will probably catch you guys in the next one, because... I don't think he's going to come back from this. Come on, have Sparky nerf- No! No, I need to Sparky first play at the bridge. It's so funny when it works. Sometimes they just don't have a cycle for it, and they, like, waste so much Elixir. Oh my gosh, it's hilarious. Okay. Let's see. Dark Prince in the back. So, probably Golem. I think the mini pack is not going to get a hit. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't. Let's see. Okay, actually... He used his barb barrel, so I knew that that was going to get value. Oh, that maybe should have been a mini Becca. But the good thing is... He doesn't have any of his super good mini encounters, but yeah, that should have been a mini Pekka. That would have... Then it would have tanked for the Spear Golems. That would have been so much better. Um... But still, that's not bad. That's not bad. Dang, I think we're going to go like this. We're going to try to kill his tower and take the pump at the same time. It's not going to work because we're down Elixir. Yeah. That's unfortunate. Let's do this. Okay, okay. We have a chance here to do something, I would say. We're going to get down the rage. Oh, let's try to keep it alive. Let's see, let's sacrifice some damage on our tower. Either way, we're sacrificing damage on our tower, so I figure... Might as well use the Musketeer, although maybe could have... I don't know, it could have been the minions also. I don't, I don't know if it really mattered all that much. So, I'm thinking, like... Don't want to go into the same lane as him here. Let's see. Let's go like that. Wait, how did my... What? I don't know how my heal spirit died. It just like disappeared. Well, this is not good. Oh my gosh, his pumps are just too powerful! Nice. Let's go, I finally have it. Sparky at the bridge, first play. It's gonna work, just watch. Watch this, guys. Okay, already played four elixir. Oh! <laughs> it's so... it's amazing. It works every time. Every single time. It's such a good play. I don't remember the last time it didn't work. I, I kid you not, that is not a lone occurrence. I was literally doing that the other, the other day and like 90%, no, maybe, maybe 80, 60% of the time it was getting a hit on the tower. It's so funny. Okay. Well, the good thing is also he doesn't have skulls and dragons in cycle, so he just played them, so we're gonna go... Sparky in the back, and then he's not going to have a good answer for it. I actually know his cycle now. I know his... So he is fireball. Okay. I don't know if that was a good play, man. 
I really don't. Unless he has... Okay, if he has rural delivery, then this is actually going to be really rough. But we're just going to hope that he doesn't. He should not really have a good answer like any of these cards right now. Kapow! <laughs> Annihilated by this Sparky first play, let's go. It's broken. It is absolutely broken. Every time. Every time. Okay, we got our muskets here. Let's see, do we just... No, 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 let's, let's play it smart. Okay, we can spark it here. Okay, let me give some real strategy advice. Versus this matchup, normally you don't want to um, play your Sparky in the back unless they play the Royal Hogs first. That is a good tip and thing to keep in mind, but I think in this situation it's going to be fine just because of the cycle that he had. And maybe this matchup is not as important as it is in some other matchups. Yeah, you can see that works out really well, but, um, yeah, as I said, there are some matchups you got to be kind of careful about that with. So, let's just go predict it, because, yep, there it is. Saw that coming from a mile away. <laughs> Obviously, he's going to switch lanes at that point. Obviously. Unless let's heal everything up, and we absolutely annihilated him. Let's go! Let's go, baby. We got the card we wanted. Sparky first play. The only thing we didn't have was a heal spirit. Imagine how OP of a play. See, look at that. Look at that. Would you look at that? Such a good play. Such a good play, and I don't think he actually. Whoa! How are you telling me? That the heal spirit. What? Jump. No. Come on. Come on, man. That was so close to being perfect. Well, the good news is we took like 90% of his tower. The bad news is he has down an elixir pump. Two elixir pumps. Why not make it three at this point? What are we gonna do here? What are we gonna do? I think we're just gonna spark you in the back and. Hope that he takes our right tower, because we don't really care about that tower all that much. There we go. That's all I wanted to happen there. We need that tower. We win the game, guys. It's over! What is he gonna do? What is he- come on, don't shoot that. No. It's- it stopped to hit in the tower. It's actually pretty good for him. Oh my gosh, he has so much elixir. Oh my goodness. Whoa, look, how are those, do you guys see those spear goblins? How are those spear goblins alive right now? Those spear goblins just literally saved my life. So we win this game, it's over. I, I was gonna say that's the last game, but nah. Nah man, he has no chance. There's no chance. And then, predictions. Well, that may not have been the best prediction of my life. And then we accidentally also play the heal spear on the left side, but it would have been such a good play. Okay, we killed it. That's all that mattered. That's literally all that mattered. And then we play it here. That way it's gonna... Wow, he's really playing that at the perfect time. Okay. Good play, Vulcan. Mini Pekka opposite lane. Good job. But the good news is, I think we can just literally do this. And then we kill it. Just like that. Well, that was not ideal, to say the least. But we're gonna try to... Nah, we'll, we'll just let it hit our tower. 
Okay, this actually... He probably has Infernal Tower. I mean, not he probably has Infernal Dragon, so we can't really just play our Sparky in the back, I would say. We might... I think we want to play our Goblin Giant instead. And then try to just Musketeer his Infernal Dragon. I think that's going to be the play. Let's try it out here. Wow. This is hard. That actually worked out really well, I would say. Um, he shouldn't have, I think he's one card away from Throne Dragon, right? So we'll wait for his Barb Barrel. No, no, he has. Why is he not? What is he doing? Maybe he just didn't have a cycle to defend it, so he did that. In I don't know, that was weird. I really wonder if he was lagging there, if he actually meant to do that. I'm not too sure. Um, I think we need to play this just a cycle, even though it's not really a good play. So let's go Sparky in the back. He's, he actually still has a chance here, but I think we're looking pretty good. We seen like a couple hits on the tower. No, nope, nothing. What's he doing here? Wow, the one HP. Actually, let's do this. Doesn't even jump, but... How did that... I don't know, man. I don't know if I'm getting lucky here. Like, I don't even know how my Sparky hit that. Normally, the Bandit would win that interaction. He must have played it just like a tiny bit too late. It's kind of rough for him. Let's see. Oh, I probably should have zapped the tower now that I think about it. Don't you worry, guys. We're not going to choke here, hopefully. Probably, we'll probably choke, let's be real. We literally need, like, one hit on the tower. It should be so easy. We're not even going to hit the tower, we're just going to zap. I mean, we're not even going to hit the... Okay, let's go. Let's go, baby. We win. We win. Easy. Not even close. Not even for a second. What a good game. It had to be done, guys. It had to be done. <laughs> it had to be done. We're only going to play Cards of the Bridge. It's the only thing we're going to do. Oh my goodness. Only <laughs> this is the OG bridge fam deck. Sparky at the bridge, Mini Pekka at the bridge, Mini Heart at the bridge, Rage. And the best part is it's gonna work. That's the best part. Whereas actually this is this is probably one of the worst matchups I could have possibly dreamed of <laughs> for for this deck. Let's go. What is my man doing? Okay, well that's why is, why is he playing like this? Why am I playing like this? What does this world come to? <gasps> Ooh, we can we can sneak this in, and then he's not gonna have, he's gonna try to skeletons, and then it's not gonna work because. Let's go, baby. And he doesn't he doesn't even get down the skeleton. He should have got down a skeleton barrel. I would have not really had an answer to that. Okay. Can I go through? No, I don't think I, uh... Is he gonna have a rocket? I don't know, we'll, we'll test it out here. We'll test I, I, I love the plays, I love the plays. 
If you guys think I'm playing this bad, just look at how he's playing it. What is he doing? What is he doing? Like, any time he, he's played the princess, he'll just instantly cycle skulls and barrel the bridge. He doesn't wait for 10 elixir, he's just like... Boom. And then we rage it just because we can. Wait, he has a skeleton army? Where, where did that come from? I mean, at this point, we just want to finish off the tower. And then we go Sparky in the pocket just because we can. <laughs> and it gets a hit on the tower! It gets a hit on the tower, that's amazing! Oh, that's so funny. Okay, hold up. Hold up, Princess is on the wrong side of the map. You know what that means. Minion Horde at the bridge. Let's go. And then get the mini packer to the tower. Let's go, baby. Okay, I think we're losing that tower. But it's okay. It's okay. All we have to do is Sparky in the pocket and we win. We're going to wait because he might play something to stop those Sparparians, so we got to be careful. Um, I don't think he has a rocket, so we can actually just play our Sparky in the pack. And let's heal that up because, well, it was going to die, so we healed it. And he's playing that into the Sparky too, which is the best part. So we'll just go rage everything up here. And okay, yeah, that dies, but I kind of expected that. We actually might be in a little bit of trouble here, not gonna lie. Okay. Let's see. Die? No. Okay, it's dead. How are we gonna finish off Sour here? Let's see. We'll go predict the goblin barrel. No! I tried to get the win. No! No hits on the tower, at least. Oh, those Russians.